Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I've got a balanced rack, but it's non bingoy with F, U and B. I think a short word is probably best here. I could play turfed as a long word, but this rack leave is pretty good and goes well with any vowel. Fub for 16. Well, I don't draw any vowels, all consonants, but I retained a vowel, so that should enable me to play rather than change. What if opponent... Well, is there anything through the U? No. What if opponent provides a floating vowel? Could I have an 8? Nothing with an ING ending. No, I'm not seeing anything. So I'll probably be looking to play off three or four tiles. It may be difficult to hang on to my E. No great scoring spots on the board at the moment, but that was partly the aim of playing short. OK, 22 for opponent. That's a nice low score. Floating C, not much use to me. Only an H goes under the C, so ENIAC doesn't allow for parallel plays under and to the right or above the C. So really it's row J that I'm looking at. And nothing I've got goes under U, N. So this isn't... This isn't a great situation. If I played down from the A, I'd be scoring very few points and providing a lot of useful floaters. Just wondering about playing through UN. But I'm not seeing anything which scores well. So only 15 points, providing a decent scoring spot. I think I'd be almost better off changing. But this doesn't feel like a changing rack. Let me just put this on the board, ING. Do I have anything ending Bing? No, OK. Nothing I've got goes in front of B-I. What about print for 15? It's all providing a lot for opponent. What about doing gunned? This rack leave is reasonable. 10 points isn't far off the other scores. Pund, I think, slightly better. One more point. Only 11 points. I'm changing. I'm just not coming up with anything great. And I think this is a pretty decent four-letter let me keep just ERT. OK. So all, all bingo-y tiles. I was just pausing over retaining that D. Double R, double T. Is there a seven here? Don't think so. What about this floating C? No, nope, not seeing anything through that. However, I will not be 
changing again. This is definitely sufficiently flexible to play through. Do I have a double-double through this C? Nope, I don't think so. Do I have anything through F, E? Nope, U, N. No, it's just a pretty horrible selection of letters, I think. I'm, I suspect there will be some eights with the right floater, but I'm not seeing anything with the floaters as they stand. So, what to do? Supposing opponent changes, I've now got an I for going under UN. So I could play just writ or write R-I-T-E. Oh, wow. Coon cans for 86. Fantastic play by opponent. And opponent has provided floaters, but do any of them give me a bingo? What about the S? I would have the E-S-T ending, an I-E-S-T ending. Not seeing anything. What about the N? No, C already considered. O. No, wow. Opponent's got a good lead. And I've got a weak rack, unless I'm missing a bingo. Let me just put this on the board because there's so many duplicates. No, not seeing anything. Given that I trail, I think I would like a volatile board. And this provides it. I'm not going to get much more than 18 points. And this keeps the board wide open. Okay, so not so good. Asia I write through a G. What about N, S, R and T? All of them look like they are potentially candidates for a 5 vowel 8. Nice score for opponent. I trail by 100. So this rack plus an S. Nope. What about an R? Nope. T. There is one through the N, but it doesn't doesn't go because it's inertia E. And I'm not seeing a 7 here. And this is a very difficult rack to sort out. Because it's breaking up a bingo rack. I really want to play off just I and E. And that's not going to score very much. So I'm minded to just change them. So am I bingoing with this rack? I'm looking at N and S as the likely candidates. Through an L, I would have Retailer. Rotaries, I do have a bingo onto the S. So what about the R? No, what about the T? No. Arteriole as a 9 onto LE. Well, that's not going to happen. Roriest is the anagram of rotaries. B 
Faith could be blocked. And they're not. Fantastic. So, am I coming back into the game? Rorius for 68. The other option was Rotary's placing an O under this double letter square. I am going with this. And I draw the second blank. Fantastic. The rest of the rack, not so great. It may take a couple of turns to work through U, V, Y and Z. But I do have Visey through the eye of Rorius. Which does a pretty good job of sorting the rack out. Could there be a bingo here? I don't think there is a seven. No, I'm not seeing one. What if Visey is blocked and it, it may be blocked if opponent plays onto this triple word square? Oh, wow. Great bingo by opponent. 80 points. My Visey spot remains available and the board remains open. So this is what I'm thinking of. 29 points, pretty decent and a pretty good rack cleave. I'm going with this. Now, no duplicates, balanced rack. Is there a bingo here? And quite a few floaters in Nitre and Endives. So, I have Habendum through the N with the blank as a B, anagram of numb head. Will that stay available? Yes, it does. Wow, fantastic. Habendum for 80. Bang! And look at this, I draw Pantler, Planter and Replant. Do any of them play? Wow, I am, well, am I back in the game? I trail by 50. If I land this bingo, then I think I am. But not a great board for sevens. Do I have anything through the Y? Don't think so. It can't end L-Y, that's obstructed. None of my bingos play in columns two and four. But they do, Pantler, well, and Planter. Oh, an opponent blocks both. How galling. Just as I realised that my bingos did play. Now, R not helpful. What about I? This rack plus an I, super high probability. Interlap, triplane, trap line. Unbelievable. Trap line for 78. Bang! And I do take the lead, but only by 11 points. So, oh, this is a funky rack. It makes you dialite as a nine through EU dial onto TE. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. That's a shame. But do I have anything more, more prosaic which plays? Unlikely. Nothing with the T. What about the R? New. A, no, P, no, T. Oh, wow, 48 points for opponent, so I'm back to trailing. So what I'm looking to do is play off Y and U. Opponents nicely opened a new seven-letter lane, which is good. Can I score well with Y and U? 12 minutes on my clock. Mm, 
Not seeing any three-letter plays with Y and U. And I quite like everything else on this rack. Well, there is a YU spot here, but it takes out this T as a floater, which is a shame. 23 points. That's handy. It keeps me in touch with opponents. Two S's to come for an for an I-E-S-T ending word. So, only one A to come. I was thinking about playing off A-Y-U. Avoiding having too many vowels. 11 minutes on my clock. Am I missing any good spots. What about this? 30 points. A Q to come and only one U. Do I have a DU play? D-U-A, D-U-I, D-U-E. No, nothing great. Well, I was thinking about playing Y-U on the grounds that I have an A front hook, but other tiles go in front of Y-U, and it also it obstructs row B bingos. Nothing, nothing ending B-E-Y or beginning Y-U. I think I will play Y-U here for because this is a really nice five-letter set. Yeah, Y-U for 23. Well, I don't draw well. I duplicate the I. And I don't have a bingo. I've got a scoring tile in the H. So I really want to play off the tiles I've drawn. I trail by 14. Yeah, why you didn't feel great, but I don't know what was better. Now, am I sure I don't have a bingo here? There's a floating P. No. And a Y, definitely not good. Nothing with the T I've just removed. So where can I get value from the H? So I have halide plus an I. I don't particularly want to wreck the rack. And I don't particularly want to turn over tiles since I trail. Three E's to come. I could play higher, but the score is pretty lame. I've got air in column five. 27 points, that's pretty decent. It is taking out two useful floaters. But I don't I don't need a bingo to catch opponent. Well, opponent takes out that spot. Only 18 points, which is good news. There is still this bingo lane in row B. Floating Y is going to be Pretty useless as a floater. I don't want to give opponent a good scoring spot. Twenty three points. Well, it's just inviting a ladder. Eight minutes on my clock.
24 points, higher takes than S. But it's difficult to play in column one with that hook and score well. Yeah, I'm retaining, I'm burn, ooh, wag isn't good. Wig is 18 points, giving nothing away, keeping a decent rack leave. Eighteen points, three thirty. I'm going to trail by fifteen. Q and J, big tiles. They may determine the game. I'm just wondering if I should be opening a lane, but I don't know. I mean, there is this one lane in row eight. I don't accept row N is a lane. Habendum takes an S, so. There is a seven-letter lane in row N with S in precisely third place. The remaining tile super non bingo -y. I think this may come down to what can be scored with the big tiles. I am, well, am I going with Leary for 18? I, I think I am. It provides absolutely nothing. I'm going with this. Oh my word, three O's, that is insane. Wow, absolutely brutal. Fortunately, I've got an H, which will help to get rid of it, to get rid of the O's. Very non bingo pool and very Val Dry pool. Three I's and I and a U. 14 14 points between us. Just one big J or Q play could secure the win for opponent. Uh, this is a tight board. Jube playable in row H for 30 points. Any score of 30 points is is going to be an achievement on this board. There's no obvious great spots for J or Q. Opponents just burnt five tiles, so could be sitting with some junk. Sen for 14, wow. I guess opponents just taking out this lane. Opponent leads by 28. There are four tiles in the bag. Do I want to draw three of them? Wow, six minutes on my clock. Where are the spots for the for my H and my O's? Yahoo doesn't reach the double. Ko doesn't take an O. O's don't go in front of G or L. What about just doing this? 20 points. Vowels are useful, especially with J, F and W. It's only Q which is problematic. And by turning over two tiles rather than three, I'm reducing my chances of drawing the queue. At the moment, the queue plays above the eye of end dives for very little. I think if I draw the queue, I lose. I am setting up a hot F spot, but difficult for opponent to play there without opening access to row O. And if I draw the F, that could be handy. Is there anything similar to this elsewhere? I don't think so. I'm going with this. Well, I dodged the Q, but the U's also out there. And the F and the J, two tiles in the bag. I've drawn the W, which is a good scoring tile. 
If opponent empties the bag, I may be able to aim for an out in two. Just eight points between us. Do I have a six letter Y play? I don't think I do. I do have OW for 20. Great, just 11 points for opponent. One tile in the bag. Four minutes on my clock. What is the play here? And was I foolish to play off the H with this CH spot? Opponent's got this oof spot. Oh, I had OOH before. Ah, he is good. I'd quite like to turn over a lot of tiles because with one tile in the bag, I then may be able to go out in one. Woad for 22. EIO, that's just not good enough. I'd quite like to play Wood. I trail by 19. But a pennant can't play Hefe in row N. Three minutes on my clock. I thought I had a lot of time and I did, but I'm not generating ideas. Is there a way of setting up a spot which I can use and opponent can't? What about Yowie? Can opponent play the J in this spot? If they can't play the J and I can go out... Well, I'm setting up a big F spot. Opponent could play feel and not, not care about my going out. Still this S to come, which is annoying. What about playing OW? Then I may be able to reach this triple letter square. That's pretty, that's completely opposite to the idea of playing over, playing a lot of tiles. What about playing Loden? 20 points. Oh, well, I'm not going to go out with W-O-I. And what is the tile in the bag? One minute on my clock. No, I'm just not seeing seeing what to do here. And I've only got 40 seconds left. I am going to go with Yowie. It maximises my chances of going out in one. Interesting. Opponent doesn't have... Well, let me just concentrate on finding an out for myself. I have Odea and Ag. Do I have a second out... Yep, I have Odea at the bottom. 
So I am going out few. So th my time shortage doesn't matter. I trail by six. I still think this is a pretty lost cause. But we'll just have to see nine minutes on opponent's clock. So Odir is certainly my, my best outplay. If that's blocked, do I have something better than Odia in column 14? There are no anagrams of Odia. And what does Odia score in column 14? 13 points. 376. Well, this, this may be a close one. Oh, and I've still got Loden. L O A D E N. For 20 points. And 24 bottom right. Wow. Okay, all that time looking for Yowie. I'm at the moment I'm not ruining that decision. Seven minutes on opponent's clock. Well let, let's look at opponent's rack now. They can't play the J bottom right. They can't play the J. With the F, and M can go after double O as well. But the J is a big tile. If a pennant doesn't offload it, and that's 16 points to me. So I, I suspect a pennant is looking for J spots such that they can play off the F or the M as well. And I don't see a four letter play beginning with F. I don't think flum is good. Let's check that. No. So I don't think... A, oh, fems for 50. Brutal. Now, is that... So Loden was my best spot for 20. And it's not going to be enough. Wow. And the final score, 403 to me, 419 for opponent, a winning margin of 16 points. So well done to opponent. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game. That was so close at the end and there were so many tricky racks, especially right at the death. Now, it was me to go first. These are the long plays, which ISC prefers, but I prefer the short ones. Gives far fewer options for opponent to score. And look at this, very little over 20. Now, this was a very tricky rack, early doors. What do I do? I change. I-11. Oh, there was a play through the C. Crept. That would have been better than changing. But these scores are pretty ropey, so I don't think changing was terrible. Great bingo by opponent. Coon cans for 86. Now, phew, there was no, no bingo here. What do I do? I play Niter for 18. Yeah, not many more points on offer. So I don't think anything obviously better. Opponent plays Ko. And this is where I change again. Yeah, score and rack leave, these plays are better, but they're wrecking the rack. What was my rack? I changed EI, keeping A-E-I-R-T. That's a nice rack, especially with the floating NSR and T. I still like my play. A pen and plays Bard, and it has paid off the change because I have these bingos, but only bingos through the S. Fortunately, it wasn't blocked. Great bingo for opponents. And now I have Visey for 29 to sort the rack out. Wow, I'm 120 behind. Opponent plays Gulp. 
And I have Habendum, Drumhead and Dumbhead playable onto the D for the same score. But I think Habendum is the funkiest. So the margin now is down to 50, but opponents on turn and they play Chert for 18. And I have Trapline and it is the only bingo. So delighted to spot that. And I lead. Wow. Opponent plays a Twixt. And here, this was a play I spent a while on. I went with U for 23. And either U or Y or both remain with all of these higher scoring plays. And they're only scoring 10 more points. So I like my playing. Opponent is sorting their rack out rather than blocking. Although they are indeed blocking bingos. So... That worked out well for opponent. It was a good choice, rather. I play Leary for 18. Not many more points on offer. D12, are he? Yeah, I thought about that, but so many vowels go after CH. It was just an invitation to ladder. And there was currently a bingo lane available. Opponent plays Sen. From what? Wow. Keeping J, F and M and no vowels. I guess they were just prioritising closing down bingo lanes, but they only lead by 14. So I draw three O's and play O for 20. Yeah, nothing massively better in score. And look at all of these rack leaves. Horrendous. Wow, what a rack for opponents. And they only lead by eight with two in the bag. Surely this was winnable for me. A pen plays just the queue. One in the bag. B14. Jew. Well, I was really looking for a play where I could go out in in one. Given opponent scoring potential with FJ and M. Wode B14. Yeah, maybe Wode was the play, although J can go next to the O. I'm not sure they can opponent can get at that to play twice, so maybe Wode keeping EIO. I don't know, but I draw an E, so double EIO wouldn't have given me an out in one. I play Yowie. Opponent's got Fems for 50. Do they have big scores elsewhere? L14. Oh, wow. Jews and Yowies. Flues. These are all from the Yowie play. N3. They have Self, Habendums, and Oof for 43. So. Yowie wasn't providing a score that was unachievable elsewhere. And then I have Loden for 20, but A8. Togood also playable. Wow. And then that was the end of the game. Gosh, I feel that, given opponent's rack, that the key move here was the Yowie one. It did. It gave opponent Fems. And although they had 40 points elsewhere, uh, I just feel there may have been something better than Yowie. But do leave a comment below if you if you think that there is a better play and, and also say what that play is. But anyway, absolutely embracing game. That's not the word I was looking for, but it was a game which... was quite immersive and difficult to play and really, really, really challenging. So, and jolly close to the end with just 16 points. Anyway, con many congratulations to opponent on their victory. I hope you enjoyed watching that game. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.